AWS provides services that help you protect your data, accounts, and workloads from unauthorized accesses. The AWS infrastructure puts strong safeguards in place to help protect your privacy. All data is stored in highly secure AWS data centers. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another video by K21 Academy. Let us discuss the agenda for the day. We will be talking about what is SCS C01 exam, what are the prerequisites for the same, why should you opt for this examination, some tips and tricks, and some ways in which we can help you out. So let's get started. First, let us talk about what exactly is SCS C01 exam all about. AWS Certified Security Specialty Certification is one of the widely recognized security certifications across the industry. With the number of security breaches increasing every year, there's a huge demand for individuals who understand the security side of the things, specifically cloud-based infrastructures. Now moving to what are some of the benefits of SCS C01 exam? Well, any exam would help you to validate your skills and AWS certifications provides a reputable benchmark for AWS partners and practitioners. It ensures the team members are following security best practices and contributes to AWS partner certification requirements as well. Now, we will talk about some prerequisites required for this exam. AWS Certified Security Specialty is intended for individuals who perform a security role and have at least two years of hands-on experience using AWS workloads. Before you take this exam, we recommend you to have at least five years of IT security experience in designing and implementing security solutions and at least two years of hands-on experience in working in securing AWS workloads. Working knowledge of AWS security services and features of services to provide a secure production environment and an understanding of security operations and risks. Knowledge of AWS shared responsibility model and its applications, security controls for workloads, AWS logging in, logging out, different monitoring strategies, cloud security threat models, patch management, security automations, and anything and everything required for this certification is basically the basics of the security and of course, cloud practitioner certification. Now, moving next to why you should be opting for this exam. We all know that we need some kind of validation to check up with our skills learned and to this, this exam is where you want to check up your mark. It'll test your skills and increase your confidence in gaining the best jobs of the industries. Now, if I talk about some tips and tricks, then the best I can share with you is that do hands on because it will make you more confident in taking up the solutions and passing the solutions with more efficiency. You'll not be scared of any kind of problems coming your way. So better do hands on. Now, let me give you a check with the kind of questions that might be asked. So basically, we have five domains. In our first domain, we have incident response that will cover up at least 12% of the examination. We have domain two that is logging and monitoring. Then it will cover approximately 20% of the examination. We have domain three that is infrastructure security. It will cover 26% of the examination. That is the highest among all. We have domain four that is INT access management. This will cover approximately 20% of the examination. And we have data protection that is 22%. And it will cover approximately 22% of the examination. Every domain has its own importance, so it is very useful that you go through everything in depth and try to make more out of it. If you really want to learn every aspect of AWS security specialty, then we have something really special for you. All you have to do is log on to K21 Academy forward slash AWS security 02. And if you want me to save your seat for the free class, you can add your name to the waitlist and I'll personally send you an email when it's the go-go time. I'll see you in the free class. Till then. Take care and keep hustling.